Now the Baton Rouge Zoo is preparing to welcome guests after being closed for nearly two months. Fox 44's Jonah Gilmore took a behind the scenes tour to see what's being done to keep you safe. On a ride through the Baton Rouge Zoo, workers could be spotted preparing new safety measures. We have put up some barricades and some signage to remind our guests to stay on that one-way path. Robin Lott says the zoo is taking extra precautions to keep you safe as we enter phase one of reopening. We will have stations throughout the zoo for them to antibac their hands with um, hand sanitizer. We have a multitude of restrooms throughout the zoo that have soap and water, and we just encourage folks to bring your own. In addition to the barricades and signs, staff members will be on hand to remind people to keep their distance from each other. If we start to see things build in a group that's larger than 10, then we'll walk in and ask if everyone can remember the six foot rules. The 180,000 square foot facility will also follow the 25% occupancy rule by monitoring visitors in real time. We have capability Abilities to monitor that on a real time basis. That'll all be based off of as folks come in at the front gate, we will be keeping a natural um, count. And then should we reach a level that is of concern, we will hold off on letting any individuals in until another group of individuals has come out. Lot says the new norm is an adjustment and they're covering every inch of the zoo. Our janitorial staff will be in high overdrive, continuing to wipe everything down at areas where you might have high touch with children. Although guests are not required to wear masks or other personal protective equipment, Lot says she encourages everyone to bring what they feel will keep them safe. Whether that's a mask or your own hand sanitizer, feel free to bring it um, and safeguard yourself accordingly, but I can promise you the animals are ready to see you. Jonah Gilmore, Fox 44 News. All right, Jonah, thank you. The zoo opens Monday the 18th to Friends of the Zoo members. It will then open to the general public later this week on Thursday, May 21st.